to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's lesson is about money and the substrate is higher purchase part 2. Given a question like this, that is the marked price of a sofa set was 25,000. When I bought it on higher purchase terms, a total amount of money I paid was 120% of the marked price. Question A, how much money did I pay? Question B, if I had paid a deposit of 16,000 and a monthly installment of 700 shillings each, for how many months would I have paid the installments? So in this question, we are given two questions to look into. As we said in a previous lesson, that when you are reading a wording mathematical problem, read as you analyze step by step. So let's analyze our question. The mark price for a sofa set is 25,000. Therefore, our mark price is 25,000. And we say the mark price is the price that is written on that item. Or rather, it's more of the price that is labeled on that item that you're going to buy. When I bought it on higher purchase terms, a total of a total amount of money I paid was 120 of the max price. So the higher purchase, when I bought it on higher purchase, I paid 120% of the max price. So at this juncture or at this point, we can give the higher purchase price when we're relating percentages. So we are told that the higher purchase price is 120% of max price. So 120% of 25,000. Let's work it out. So 120% means 120 over 100 multiplied by 25,000. The two zeros they cancel. So 25 times 12. Remember to add the two zeros times 12. 0, 0, 10, carry 1. 2 times 2 it's 5. It's 4. 4 plus 1 it's 5. 0, 0, 5, 2. 0, 0, 0, 5 plus 5 is 0, carry 1, which is 30,000. Therefore, the higher purchase was 30,000. Now we have answered our first question, how much money did I pay? I paid 30,000 because I bought the item on higher purchase. Let's answer question B. If I had paid a deposit of 16,000, so this is our deposit, of 16,000 and a monthly instrument of 700 shillings each so the amount we are given is 700 but you're not given the number of months this is the question that we're supposed to answer so how do we get now the unknown which is the month here we need to apply the formula for getting higher purchase and from our previous lesson we said higher purchase is equal to deposit plus total monthly instrument and how do we get to a monthly instrument? We say amount times number of months. So the amount that is, we are contributing on monthly basis times the number of months. So let's apply our formula. Already we have our higher purchase as 30,000. And our deposit is 16,000 plus total monthly instrument. Let's get, let's get a total monthly instrument, which is amount 700 times number of months that we don't know. We just call them M for months. Therefore, it shall be 30,000 is equal to 16,000 plus 700 M. We want our M. At reaching this point, we apply algebra, like terms together. Our 16,000 was a positive. When it comes in, it becomes negative. So take away 16,000. Zero, take, uh, take away zero is zero. Another zero, zero. Ten take away six, it's four. Here we remain with the two. Two take away one, it's one. So this 14,000 is equal to 700M. We want M. So we divide both sides by 700. Zero goes with zero. Another zero is another zero. By 71, by 72. So this is 20 because of this zero. So our M is equal to 20. Meaning now, he paid for 20 months. Let's do our next example. In this question, we are told that the cash price of a cardboard is shilling 3,000 and interest of 25% is charged if the cardboard is bought on higher purchase terms. 
Amina bought the car bought on higher purchase terms. She paid a deposit and twelve equal monthly is and twelve equal installments. Each installment was two hundred and sixty-two shillings and fifty cents. How much deposit did she pay? Again, our question is worthy, so we read it step by step as we analyze it. So the cash price of that cardboard is three thousand, meaning that if you buy it on cash terms, you'll pay only three thousand. But if you pay it on higher purchase, you'll be given an interest of twenty five percent. An interest is like a profit, meaning that a profit of twenty five percent is going to be charged. So at what selling price will the item be sold or the buying price? Remember the concept of interest. So in case of a profit of twenty five, it means that you buy the item at. 125 percent because the cash price is a hundred percent so at this point you can get the higher purchase which is 125 percent of the cupboard so 125 over 100 times three thousand two zeros they go so 125 times 30 0 15 carry one six plus one seven three Meaning now, when you buy it on a higher purchase terms, you pay three thousand seven hundred and fifty. This seven hundred and fifty is a twenty-five percent interest. Now let's continue analyzing our question. Amina bought the car on a higher purchase, so he paid three thousand seven hundred and fifty. She paid a deposit that you don't know, but I've been told that she paid a deposit and twelve equal monthly instruments. So the number of months are twelve, and the amount per month is. 262 shillings and 50 cents so how much was the deposit again now here we apply the formula for getting higher purchase higher purchase is equal to deposit plus total monthly instruments and total monthly instruments is a mountain number of number of months therefore we replace whatever you're given to the formula that is our higher purchase is 3750 is equal to a deposit i don't know Plus total monthly instruments and our amount is 262 shillings and 50 cents times 12 because the number of months are 12. So now we remove these brackets by multiplying here, which is 262.5, which is 50 cents, multiplied by 12, 0, 10, carry 1, 4, plus 1, 5, 12, carry 1, 4, plus 1, 5, 0, Five, two, six, two. When we put together these are zero, zero, zero because five plus five is ten. Carry one. One plus two, three. Three plus two, five. Five plus six is eleven. Carry one. One plus two is three. Remember there were two decimal places, so we have zero, zero cents so as our total monthly instrument. So three thousand seven hundred fifty as our higher purchase. Is equal to D for deposit plus total monthly instalments of 3150. So at this point now we apply algebra like terms together. This comes this way, it was positive, becomes negative minus 3150. Zero, five minus five is zero, seven minus one is six, three minus three is zero, and therefore the deposit was 600 shillings. A farmer bought a tractor for shillings 900,000 in, in higher purchase. So our higher purchase was 900,000. He paid a deposit of 150,000 and the balance in, the, in that equal monthly instrument. So the number of months are 30 months. How much was each instrument? So I'm looking for the amount for each instrument. So this is our question. So at this point, we need to write down our formula for getting higher purchase. And higher purchase is equal to deposit plus total monthly instruments. And, and how do we get total monthly instruments? Amount times number of months. That is the amount that are contributing on a monthly basis and the number of months for contribution. So... Let's now write whatever you are given here to our formula. So our HP is 900,000 is equal to the deposit. Our D is 150,000 plus 
our total monthly installment which is amount times number of months are 30 when you multiply this we get our total monthly installment which is 30a because a times 30 a times 30 is 30a a for amount therefore 900,000 is equals to 150,000 plus 30a so now we put like terms together a number and a number so this comes to this side it was plus it becomes minus so minus 150,000 10 minus 5 is 5 8 minus 1 is 7 so 75,000 is equals to 30a we want our a so what do we do we divide both sides by 30 by 30 0 goes with 0 by 3 1 by 3 it's 2 because of 6 7 minus 6 is 1 here it becomes 15 15 divided by 3 it's 5 and our two zeros are there so our amount is 2500 meaning that for the 30 months it was contributing 2500 each month in this question we are told that the cash price of a radio was 4500 the high purchase price of the radio was 60% more than the cash price. We have bought the radio on a higher purchase terms. He paid a deposit of 12 equal monthly installments of shillings 540 each. How much did he pay as deposit? Now let's read step by step as we analyze our question. The cash price in the question we are told was 4,500. The higher purchase price of the radio was 60% more than the cash price. We said that the cash price percentage is always 100%. 60% more of this will be 160%. Therefore, the higher purchase price is 160% of the cash price. Now, Muya bought the radio on higher purchase terms so now we can get the higher purchase when it relates with percentages so if a hundred percent for cash price is equal to a quantity called five four thousand five hundred what about 160 for higher purchase will be which quantity so we cross multiply a hundred x percent is equal to 4500 times 160 percent we want our x so divide both sides by 100 percent divide by 100 percent so this percentage is the cancel zero goes with zero remember this is 160 zero goes with another zero so i left 450 times 16 450 times 16 0 30 carry 3 24 plus 3, 27. 1 times 0, it's 0. 1 times 5, it's 5. 1 times 4, it's 4. Then you put together 0. 0. 7 plus 5, it's 12. You carry 1. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 4, it's 7. Therefore, on higher purchase, it was 7,200. Our higher purchase is equal to 7,200. We are looking for the deposit. For us to get deposit, you need to apply the higher purchase formula. How do we get higher purchase? Higher purchase is equal to deposit plus total monthly installments. And how do we get total monthly installments? Amount times number of months. So we quit everything to the formula. And our higher purchase, which is 27,200, is equal to the deposit that we don't know plus total monthly installments. We are given the number of installments were 12 monthly installments so the number of months are 12 times amount each month was 540 so let's multiply 540 multiplied by 12 0 8 10 0 4 5 this put together is 0 8 4 6 so 6 4, 8, and 0. So, all this is 6,480. Plus our deposit should give us this. So, let's like times together, we are looking for D. 
this comes this side was positive now it becomes negative take away 6480 zero we carry one there 10 take away eight it's two we carry one again there 11 take away four it's seven and six take away six is zero and therefore the amount for deposit was 720 shillings i wish you the best and kindly subscribe press notification bell and also practice remember practice makes perfect thanks for watching bye bye